retard. Good morning YouTube, welcome back to the vlog and welcome to what is my final trip with British Airways. I am back in Johannesburg just like last week and once again I'm heading down to Cape Town to visit some of Mika's family. If you watched last week's video you would have known that I went to visit the farm but this time we're going to do some more touristy stuff. Yeah, this time we're going to do some more touristy stuff and check out Cape Town itself. Now, if you want to see some scenery shots of me flying from Johannesburg down to Cape Town and the flight itself, go and check out last week's vlog because I'm not going to film the exact same stuff and bore you with the same footage. Instead, let's jump right into it and let's head to Cape Town. Welcome to Cape Town. back down from the mountain the views up there are absolutely incredible I hope that it's come across on camera just how good it was we are now gonna head down towards the waterfront and Hamish and Noma are gonna continue guiding me around Cape Town showing me the sights having an amazing time so far the weather is absolutely incredible especially for a winter's day this is apparently the best sunny day with no clouds so it was the perfect day to go up to the top of Table Mountain and it's so cheap here as well. I think it was like 225 Rand, which is like 11, 12 pounds. And this is like the main tourist destination in Cape Town. And um, yeah, we had some food and I think for the three of us to have like food and a drink each, it was like 10 pounds altogether. So yeah, very good value for money, having a really good time. Let's go to the waterfront. Quick stop at Camp Space for some ice cream.
get back home. Tonight we're staying in a flat in central Cape Town which is owned by Hamish's parents. So they own the farm and then they also own this flat in central Cape Town just for any of the family who are in the area and don't want to travel an hour and a half back to the farm. So yeah, it's ideal. And it originally belongs to Hamish's grandmother and all the furniture is still exactly the same. It's pretty vintage. And um, there's some wedding pictures up of Hamish and Naomi which is pretty cute as well. I think the last time I spoke to you we were at Camps Bay eating ice cream and then while we were there we got chatting to two Malawian entrepreneurs, let's call them, and they were telling us how they got into the country and everything like that and Hamish bought a painting off one of them for Mika for her birthday which is coming up on the 24th of August so go and say happy birthday to her on the 24th of August. Let's hope this vlog gets up before then. And then after that we headed to the waterfront. Waterfront is really cool. It's pretty touristy, but it has got a really good atmosphere, really cool vibe, and yeah, it's got a huge shopping center. It's got loads of great shops, uh, lots of English brands, got like Joe Malone and all these like high-end retailers, as well as like Woolworths and uh, South African uh, brands like that. So we went to Woolworths, got some stuff for Mika, and then we went on the Ferris wheel, which was really cool. And after that, we then went for dinner, and I went for a steak with peppercorn sauce, chips, and red wine. A steak in South Africa is just incredible. I think if you've had it, then you just know that it is different to English steak. For the steak, it goes down a tree. So yeah, and then now we're back at the flat. Today has been so much fun heading up Table Mountain. It was just one of those bucket list moments. Something I remember for the rest of my life. The views off the top of the mountain are insane. And the top of the mountain itself was still absolutely beautiful. It had, I think, 8,500 species of flowers, like rare, specific only to Table Mountain National Park. Um, that was a fact off one of those little plaques. Didn't make it myself. Um, and yeah, it's just really cool up there. Like you could um, walk around for hours. And they had these little animals, I think they're called dassies. <laughs> and they're like huge guinea pigs and um, they're just desperate for food, so they're really tame and you can get quite close to them. So it's funny watching them run around. <laughs> yeah, I hope the footage comes out as, as good as it looked when you're on there, because it, it is like the most ridiculous view. So I'm gonna head to bed now and I will catch up with you in the morning. Okay, I am back home now and I'm gonna split this vlog into two parts. This is gonna be the end of part one, so... <laughs> As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for plenty more videos to come.